And uh, in front of me now, I have members of the Axis in Ballymun, and uh, I'm going to be talking now to Emma. Hello, Emma, how are you? Hi. Are you? Can you hear me all right? I can indeed. Okay, tell me about the group now. Well, basically, we've been working over the last couple of years with a number of young people in Ballymun. Ballymun's kind of well known as an area where young people are really talented around music and songwriting. So what we're bringing here tonight are about 15 to 20 young people who've been involved in various music projects over the past year. One was a cross-border project and then the other one was a music video project. And they've come together for the last month. And they have, they're going to be presenting some of their best work um, over the past year. Plus, they've been working on a brand new piece, especially for Culture Night. And it's around the celebration of youth, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And where are they going to be tonight now? Seven literally about 100 yards down the road from your station here. Literally at Cow's Lane on an outdoor stage. So I think this is your first outdoor event, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, really looking forward to it. So it should be great. Okay. Now, when the kids get involved in it, do they come with something themselves or are they trained or do you develop what they have? All yeah. Maybe they come with. I suppose Axis is an art centre based in Ballymun mm-hmm. and there'd be a lot of kind of skill in house. But we, what we tend to do is hire different artists that to kind of come in and work. So on this project, we would have had Dean Scurry, um, who is a rap artist, and Elaine Harrington, who's a rap artist, and also... Colm Quirney, and he is a music producer and kind of more into songwriting and ballads. So together, Mm -hmm. that was kind of the team with myself to work with them all so that people could kind of get one-to-one time with the artists and develop their own songwriting. But a lot of them come with a lot of natural talent. And what I like about this project is that we have people who are doing rapping, people who are more into traditional music and bowrons, people into hip-hop. With people into spoken words, some people who are fantastic singers, some people who aren't, and so trying to get them to work together and, mm-hmm. and gel and come up with a piece that really works. There's a great example of it actually a couple of months ago on a Saturday afternoon. Uh, mm-hmm. There, where Colin was organising that, and uh, you had um, uh, some great artists on that day. I remember yeah. talking to some of the lads and the rappers, and some of them gone over to America and uh, all that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, it's been on. a really exciting year, I and think, for, for Ballymun and for A young great people. amount of cross culturalisation with the music. Yeah, like the last six months, we've been up um, in Northern Ireland, up in Oma, doing a cross border. So these lads here would have um, travelled up to Oma to do some workshops, and the Oma people would have come on down. And mm-hmm. we would have had two big showcases in, in local theatres um, in the last year as well. Axis and young people have been over to um, South Africa, over to Cape Town. They've been to New York with the hip project so it's an exciting time for the arts and stuff in Ballymun and, and for young people in particular. And the age group what do they range from? The youngest is 14 and then the oldest is 23 so pushing the young person category at okay. 23 so a really nice mix so yeah. Okay we have uh, Ryan, Keith and Leah and they're from the project. Hi Leah how are you? Tell me your uh, favourite thing about the uh, project for you. Just uh, gets us more confident in all the our talent and what we can do with it you know. Mm-hmm. And just like what do you do yourself now? I sing. Okay. Do you write any stuff yourself? Yeah. Okay. Do you play an instrument? No. Okay. So who do you collaborate with when you're... I mean, does it all come into your head, the music and all that, and then you just write it down? What yeah. way do you do it? Like, we just, like... Just, like, think of stuff and just write it all down. It. Yeah, play guitar around it. Okay, Brian, tell me what you do. We rap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to get an example of that, are we, in a few minutes? Yeah, if you want, yeah, okay. no problem. And uh, finally, uh, Ryan, Ryan and Brian, uh, tell me about what you do. I rap as well, but I sort of, I sort of go like towards the guitar rather than instrumental beats. To get me like, um, normally rapping is all about a beat put behind it, but when I came to the project, I was sort of at that, but then I just said, try something different, people take notice to it. So I just put, start rapping towards the guitar and other instruments like... Um, a better on and Maybe music fusion, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah. What's the attraction of rap, uh, incidentally, to the extent of? Well, my well, I the way I say it is the only reason I do I, it's stuff just that you want to get across from your own head. So I do sort of clear my mind, stuff like that. That's the way I just. Mm-hmm. It's the way I express me certain ways, just through rapping. Okay, and you do all the reading yourself as well. Yeah, yeah, I do all the reading myself. Okay. Just wherever it's on your mind, just write about and it comes from your head. Just put the pen to paper. Are you the same, Brian? Yeah, I'm the same. Yeah, like he said, it's a way to vent whatever feelings you have. You know, if you have any thoughts stuck in your head, get out a pen and the pad, and you can spill it on the page. You know, mm-hmm. instead of having it bottled up inside, whatever. Yeah, and of course, if you get two different uh, people, there's a good collaboration there. Different yeah, emotions and different things coming in as well. Yeah. yeah. Can we have an example of something? Um, I don't Small know what way Emma. If you want, nothing too serious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can yourself. Wherever you want to. Maybe Emma there has an idea of what you're going to do, do you? 
I know I, they, I've, I've seen them all, so I know that there's no Fs or anything in it, so we're fine. Okay. It's a lovely selection of stuff, so clean, fire away. Clean, it's a clean one. A clean it's alright, it's gone five o'clock. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Is it going to be a three or a two or a one? Uh, oh, do you want me to start something off and I'll drop anything? Oh, don't worry, man. I'm just going to do one little verse anyway. Yeah, yeah I'll yeah. drop something. It's no illusion from exclusion to intrusion to overcome my confusion and reach an inclusion with my contribution to this distribution. You can see I'm not making a nuisance and the talent that I'm using, you'll find them using when I'm cruising. On the stage, I'm fulfilled with rage or all losing on this page with my corruption, on this rooting with destruction. If I tell you to behave, I'm erupting like a tiger from its cage. Now I'm here to say, the cipher, let this be play. <laughs> Lyrical content is what's important When I spit rhymes it's like I'm using me six cents I'm always hell bent to leave a mic with a dent Who do this from the heart it's not paying the rent When it does, rappers rhymes tend to get spent Usually in the beginning that's not their intent That's why I want you to understand what I meant Each one of me rhymes is worth more than sense And each time I write another with gain more strength A gift from nature not something you can rent That's terrific, so, great stuff Thank you uh, very much Thank <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> Can you explain to me now why you were talking about the uh, the inclusion of the guitar in it? What way well, it works? Is yeah. it sort of a strumming with a, a basic s Yeah, strum? well, anything like it's just um, just like in a normal anybody singing to a guitar, but I just sort of rap to it and you just get the right beat. Like you get a melody it. going and yeah, then you, you get your get flow, the right flow going to yeah, the guitar and, and then you just go with it. Like, Okay. Yeah. I think beat. everybody that comes um, to do projects are all at a very different level. Some people are in their bedrooms and rapping and writing for years and some people have never done anything at all like that. Mm -hmm. And But I think what's important is that people come present whatever they have and what you tend to find is that very obvious stuff is kind of written in the first few weeks, whether yeah. that's about sex or blocks or drugs. And, and then when you kind of let all that typical stuff kind of happen then you say is that really what you want to say or is there a better quality to your writing mm. and I suppose that that's the artist's job is to kind of push that and people I think make presumptions that rapping um, also always has to be with a really heavy hip hop beat and very serious and negative lyrics and mm -hmm. I suppose what we try and do is say well if you had a very nice ballad guitar and melody playing behind could you also rap mm -hmm. if you had a very soft bow on could you do a hip hop beat yeah. to it can you do a spoken word where you've got no guitar and nothing playing it's just your voice mm -hmm. and these young people have gotten really really good at that so that's not just the typical stuff that they're coming up with but playing around with their voices and their talent and, and stuff like that so that's I suppose when kind of great things kind of happen. Yeah, well, listen to two different ones there now. The freshness of it and uh, the innovativeness of it is, yeah. is really terrific to hear. That's what I was you. interested about how they work it across with yeah. instruments as well, because you were saying, uh, Lee was saying he was a bore on as well, yeah. which is great, absolutely yeah. great. And I think the challenge for them as well is that it depends on what the different audience is here. So they would have been really aware that this is a family event and what content were they presenting? Was it going to be a positive message because it's Dublin Culture Night and their focus was around a celebration of youth? Yeah. Then again, if you were doing a peer concert, which you've done before, then it Do might be an over 16s things, event yeah. and you'd have more hardcore lyrics. So I think that that's really good training for them as well as, as young performers and songwriters saying, well, who are your audience and what kind of content are you, are you developing? Would that be fair? Yeah. Okay, yeah. now you're going to do an hour from uh, 7 to 8 and they have a platform set up down yeah. there as well. Um, just to, getting back to uh, when, you, when you come in to do what you have to do and all that sort of carry on, uh, did they ever come up with ideas and you sort of go, now hold on a minute, that's good. <laughs> any ballet, you know, any Billy Elliot's in the group, in other words? Um, yeah, I think that we, I think when young people start or any of us start to do something new it's about developing confidence and, mm -hmm. and that is the most important thing but I think then when you get to a stage like I know this lot here now for about a year so I feel I can say stuff now maybe that I wouldn't have been able to say a year ago mm -hmm. so if I'd be saying is that the best you can say Lee is that really what you want to say is this just Americanized um, themes or these actually your own ideas and thoughts mm -hmm. so I think once you have it a relationship um, that it, yeah the, it's around pushing you but keeping that confidence yeah. but then um, that most of these young people now are well able to hear that stuff and they want to be creating really quality stuff but well, so, you get um, a chance you get a chance now at the cultural night to showcase it so mm. where, where other venues would you have now to showcase the talent that's in there well, we're absolutely, need to be able to get it absolutely there. blessed. There's very few communities that have their own art centre. So we have Access Ballymun is an art and community resource centre. It's got a 220-seater theatre. We have dance studios, recording studios. So there's constantly people coming in. And not just young people. We would have stuff for older people. We would have special needs groups using the dance studio. We would have up-and-coming bands using the recording studio. Um, so there's an awful lot of stuff 
happening and I think having that theatre to perform in is great and as well as those access is kind of a well known place now we would get invited to perform at various stuff yeah. so for example last year we would have been invited to perform at Farm Lee um, so that was another outdoor event so there's always things coming up in Halloween now um, Dublin City Council run the largest Halloween festival and it happen- takes place in Ballymun and there's going to be a main stage with a headline act but we would be encouraging local acts and, acts and performers to perform then so there's lots of opportunities so I think the most important thing is yes it's nice to write and have stuff and do projects mm-hmm. but it's really important to get a chance to show off and be up on stage yeah. and it takes your work to another level Okay, no, I mean, you've, yeah. sorry, yeah, you've, you've uh, two groups uh, performing <laughs> later on down below. So, yeah. all in all, how many have you got in the whole group we tonight? We have um, nineteen altogether performing tonight. Um, so they literally would be half, and probably three quarters were involved in that reinvent project that I mentioned, the cross border with Oma, and then there would be five or six people from the other orchestrate project who are performing. Mm. So most of them hadn't met each other before until four weeks ago. And as I think as Leah hit the nail on the head there when she said that, for instance, it gives you confidence. It's great for yeah. that, but also the integration and getting people to work together. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the things I like the best about is the chance for people to get together, especially with the reinvent. It was a cross-border program, so it was good for us to meet together with people from Northern Ireland, you know, mm-hmm. and did a good show there. Okay, just a little example of that. Meeting people as well, yeah. like that sing differently and all and rap differently to you. Mm-hmm. And like that all comes together, you know. Okay. Can I ask you, are any of you nervous? Do you ever get nervous? Oh, I'm a bit yeah. nervous now, of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the cold sweats, of course. Yeah. It's, all, well, yeah, it's, okay, it's okay in here. Do you ever get that when you're performing, I mean? Yeah, it's even a bit more so. You think okay. you'd be okay, and then the crowd starts turning out a little bit, and but once you get going, the adrenaline kicks in, it's okay. Yeah. 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 I think when you hear that first clap, you get that feeling you in your the, tummy. Again, you can the see confidence. their faces, even my own when I'm performing. Once you get that first song out of the way. And Does that mean you're going like to do something it. now? <laughs> I won't do so. I'm stage managing tonight, but there's okay. a little L performer in me too. But okay. yeah, yeah. So you don't so want to do that now, do you? You're fine. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're sure. Fine. <laughs> What's she like, by the way? That's right, good. It was great. Is she good? Great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All are Colin, Emma, Elaine, shout out to all of them, you know. Okay. <laughs> Well, listen, thanks very much to all of you for coming in and I'm sure you're going to have a great night later on uh, down at the end of Cows Lane there. And the, po- the platform is just down the yeah. road, so from 7 to 8 there tonight. Thanks very much to thanks you all. Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, and we're going to uh, continue.